Hi there, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News 4 Now for Monday, October 21st. First up, the weather its going to stay dry tonight, but you're going to need the umbrella tomorrow. Expect rain in the afternoon, high temperatures around 60 degrees. Let's turn now to the news and one worker is dead after a wall came crashing down on a construction site. It happened around 10 o'clock this morning on the Lower East Side. Firefighters say the man was unconscious when they pulled him from the rubble. He died at the hospital. A second worker was also hurt in the collapse, but should survive. The Department of Buildings is now looking into the collapse. In the Hudson Valley, police, the military, even the Coast Guard are now searching for a West Point cadet who vanished late last week. Military officials haven't released his name, but they say he's a member of the class of 2021. He was last seen on Friday, the search beginning when he didn't show up for a competition over the weekend. His rifle is also missing, but officials say they don't think he had any ammo on him. He doesn't pose any threat to the public, but there is a fear that he could try to hurt himself. Law enforcement sources say a teen has been arrested in a dorm room sex assault at Rutgers. The 17 year old high schooler was arrested on Monday about a day after Rutgers officials sent out a campus wide alert about that sexual assault. Authorities say the suspect sneaked into a sleeping student's dorm through an unlocked door. When the student woke up, the suspect left. After closing for the summer, the MoMA is back and bigger than ever. But today's grand opening was met with both cheers and protest. You can see demonstrators here calling on one of the museum's board members to step down for his involvement in Puerto Rico's financial crisis. Several protesters were arrested and 53rd Street was briefly shut down because of the chaos. But the demonstrators didn't affect things inside the museum, which added nearly 50,000 square feet of exhibition space. It just makes you like just in awe of everything, especially like coming here to the city. And finally tonight, want to win 500 bucks? All you got to do is find the grossest subway train and take a picture. The Transport Workers Union is calling it the Trash Train Contest, and they're doing it to call out the MTA for cutting cleaner jobs. The MTA says they take cleanliness seriously and they scrub down trains regularly. But if you want to enter, just post your pic on Instagram with the hashtag Trash Train. But we want to warn you, the pics that have already been submitted are really, really gross. That's going to be all for News 4 now, but keep watching for a sneak peek of the 2019 Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking out.